Josh Reinstein, great to be with you. Thanks, Chris. You've uh, written a book called Titus Trump and the Triumph of Israel. Tell us about the book. Well, the book takes you from the time of Titus who destroyed the second temple and declared victory over the God of Israel. And of course, he thought that paganism won out, that that was the end of the history of the Jewish people and the God of Israel. But people who knew the Bible, people who knew the story of Israel, knew that that was just the beginning of prophecy that would be kicked out of the land and brought back to the land of Israel. Now, the book basically shows you that if you look at Israel, not from a biblical point of view, but a political point of view, you miss the story. And so all of history from that time until today, when Donald Trump recognized Jerusalem, moved the embassy to Jerusalem, if you look at it from a political point of view, people don't understand what's happening here in this small little country. But from a biblical point of view, things become very understandable. And, and that's basically the, the idea of the book. We're looking at uh, the Jaffa Gate, the walls of the old city. 2,000 years ago, Titus was here and uh, he had destroyed the city. And uh, here we are 2,000 years later and a bit of fulfillment of biblical prophecy right here. Absolutely. I mean, the book's called Titus Trump and the Triumph of Israel, The Power of Faith-Based Diplomacy. And the power of faith-based diplomacy is your viewers. It's Christians who get involved with the fulfillment of biblical prophecy. And we've seen in the last three and a half years under the Trump administration, probably some of the biggest successes we've ever seen before because of Christian involvement. And we go into the, in the book, not just the history of the Jewish people, but also what's happening today. So why is this book so important at this time? Well, I think it's essential. We see that Judeo-Christian values are under attack around the world and people don't understand why. First of all, it's important for people to know why are our Judeo-Christian values under attack? Why do people hate Israel so much? Why are churches being firebombed in America and Bibles being burnt today? What's the connection? And there is a big connection to it. But secondly, we have to know what do we need to do? What's the plan? How do Jews and Christians need to work together in this new relationship in the 21st century? And I think in the book, I go through our history, where we are today, and what does the future hold for our cooperation as well. So I think it's a very timely book, but also it's a very important book for people who want to know how they can stand with Israel. So how can Jews and Christians work together at this time? Well, I think if you uh, read the book, Titus Trump and the Triumph of Israel, we go through a variety of different ways that we can stand together. First of all, politically, uh, we talk about the embassy move being a Christian initiative. We talk about the anti-BDS legislation being a Christian initiative. We talk about the African bloc of Christian nations. Uh, we, but also we talk about Jews and Christians coming together in this unprecedented burst of activity. Secondly, it's to know what is the plan. What is God's plan for Israel and how do we follow that roadmap? The importance of faith-based diplomacy is taking biblical support and turning it into real political action. And in the book, I try to give a roadmap of how you can do that. You're really probably the pioneer of faith-based diplomacy. How would you explain that? Well, you know, it kind of is something that I didn't expect. We got into this in 2004 when we established the Knesset Christian Allies Caucus, and that led to the establishment of the Israel Allies Foundation. Today we have 44 Israel Allies caucuses in countries around the world, over a thousand members of parliament in our network, and we, oper we run faith-based diplomacy. But I believe that this is all part of the fulfillment of prophecy. We knew that the nations will come up to Jerusalem for the feast and pray homage to the one true God. We knew that it would be the Gentiles, the nations that carry our sons and daughters back to the land of Israel. And when we come together, Jews and Christians together, and work for Israel, incredible things happen. But at the same time, when we turn our backs on Israel, bad things happen as well. And I think in the book, Titus Trump and the Triumph of Israel, I try to dissect that whole relationship and see where have we gone right, where have we gone wrong, and what do we need to do moving forward. I will tell you that there has never been a more pro-Israel president than Donald Trump. As an organization, the Israelites Foundation made a list of the top 10 things America could do for Israel. And in the last three and a half years, Donald Trump has done nine of them. I mean, each one of them on their own would have been a sea change in policy for American-Israel relations. So obviously, people in Israel want that to continue. What do you want people to take away from Titus Trump and the triumph of Israel? Well, I think that people understand that this story, our past, our present, and our future has been foretold. It's in the Holy Bible. And I take great comfort in the fact that there will be peace in Jerusalem, as I know you do too, Chris. The question is, what is our role in this story, this fulfillment of prophecy? And I think if people read it and they love Israel, they're going to understand what their role is. And if they're not sure about Israel, they'll understand better why people are standing with Israel and why they should stand with Israel. This story is a magnificent story. It's a story of ages, and we're living through it right in our own lives. So I encourage all of you to go to Amazon.com and look up Titus Trump and the Triumph of Israel. I think it's a, it's a very important book. And it's something that people of faith will really enjoy and, and not just look at Israel from a biblical point of view, but from other aspects as well. Well, congratulations on the book, Josh, and uh, thanks for being with us on Jerusalem Dateline.